you take it out, shoot it visual. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, you feel me? All right, man. Glad to be here, man. Definitely. Been trying to get this interview for for a little while now. I appreciate your patience, but I man. But I finally got it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Yes, I sir. definitely want to do it. It's just, you know, you a busy man, I'm a busy of man. Course, of course. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I know you got a lot going on. And it's a long journey. Got a good story. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to reach out and get your story. I remember talking to you. Mm -hmm. Telling you, you know what I'm saying? Learning about your story. So I just want to get into it. Uh, we just gonna start from the beginning, man. You grew up in Pensacola, Florida, right? Yeah, um, Pensacola, Florida, man. Morris Court, East Street. You know what I'm saying? Just the rough is well, the rough. You know. Uh, what I'm saying? How are you? Uh, I'll be forty this year. Okay, so what you was grew up in the what? Seventies, eighties? Eighties, mostly nineties. Okay, 90s. okay yeah. eighties and the nineties. So what was Pensacola like at that time? Just you know, if you could describe it. Oh man. Uh, and believe it or not, this was Emma Smith City and Roy Jones City back then. Yeah. You know, and you know, that's that's what we were known for for them two and, and Derek Brooks was on the rise and a lot of drugs, a lot of heroin stuff going on. We used to try to man, I remember uh, you know, uh Emma Smith from over there around that hood, around my hood and uh HBO came and did a, a feature on him, and they came to the hood while we were playing football, and they were shooting us, and they used it in the story and everything. But before we even had to get out there and play, we had to clear out the heroin needles, so that's that crazy. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, what about you as a kid? Like, you, you was, you know what I'm saying, good kid, or you, you was mischievous? No, I don't, man. I, I, don't, I don't really know, man. Like, I think... Um, as a kid, growing up in Morris Court, I was small. Uh, my brother fought a lot of my battles, <laughs> you know. <laughs> got that bigger brother, so. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, Mor Morris Court is not what they what it is today. I mean, Morris Court was real tough, real bad, and so uh, you know, kind of sheltered uh, as a kid, as a child, but you know, teenager jumping off the porch, then that just okay. turned the whole totally yeah. different story. <laughs> Who'd you go stay as a kid? What about your grades? Like, you know, you was a good kid in school? Or, um, did, did, did you like school? I liked school. Um, you know, I was I was special education, so they say. Um, it was just, I, I just don't think they understood the way my mind worked and the way I expressed myself and stuff. So, you know, people put labels on stuff they don't understand. So. Mm -hmm. But I just was thankful that I had a teacher at A.A. Dixon that recognized that I wasn't bump or anything like that. Fifth grade, she had me reading about Hitler, John F. Kennedy, Malcolm X, mm -hmm. you know, so I think that kind of guided me to where I'm at right now. Okay. And what, what was some things you was interested in as a kid, like hobbies and stuff like oh, that? Oh, man, I, I, Native, Native Americans. Anything Native Americans. Yeah? Yeah, we had the cassette, you know, cassettes back then. And that same teacher I talked about, she used to pick me up and take me to different festivals and you know I asked her because she bought me like the little cassette tape of the they they doing the dance the singing and stuff mm -hmm. I used to be banging that loud <laughs> to the tape pop and reading Native American books I don't know why well it's probably because Pensacola is an Indian name and I just wanted to know more about about the Native Americans okay and you didn't play no sports or nothing like that growing uh, up yeah yeah <clears throat> backyard football I was dope but it was just something about organized football I just didn't really flash like I should have. I think I was scared to get hit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that was a good thing because when I had the ball in my hands, I'd fly. Right. You know, I'm skinning so I could run fast. But uh, I was really dope at track, though. Know? Really good at track because I was fast. So I didn't want to get hit. <clears throat> so I'd be scatting down them sidelines. But you ain't going to run a touchdown every time. So, okay. yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> You're going to get touched. You're going to get touched now. <laughs> All right, and um, do you have an artistic background as a kid? Like, you write music or you draw anything like that? Yeah, coming up, I don't play, man. I was, uh, at the beginning, you know, we used to, you know, again, cassette tapes. We used to get those cassette tapes and press record and make our little songs. We used to have a singing group. Everybody had a singing group back then, man. <laughs> Hot Time Fade, you know what I'm saying? Like, bo real boys the man kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. Kim, Kim used to call us the boys. She used to pick on us a lot, you know. Your cousin used to pick on us a lot about us singing. Shout out to Kim. Definitely. Kim McGee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so 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 when did you start like getting into music? Was it at a young age or? Oh yeah. Um, to be honest, um, I had I was uh, in like the fifth grade, and I brought um, from Walmart. I was always a thrift shopper. And they had a Nat King Cole tape for three ninety nine. I said, this tape, three ninety nine tapes used to be like eight dollars, nine dollars. Um, so I brought it in. So I just started listening to Nat King Cole when I was young. Then that turned into Sam Cooke. And I don't know, man. I was just attracted to like dead people, like the cultures that's been way before me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 